This is Vicki coming to you from Upper Room Ministries. I know you've been missing me because I have been missing you. I've just had to do a little family stuff. And I'm visiting my brother in sunny California. And what a blessing that is. And his family. What a heavenly embrace it is to unite with family. Isn't it? Or is it not for some people? Look, I totally get if it's not for some people. Or it's a give and take, give and take, give and take, right? There's always family dynamics. But this is what's been laying on my heart. Okay, we have a promise over our lives. And that promise is supposed to shape us. Shape us to the promise. But in our own humanity, don't we have these aches and pains of past relationships? And understand this. In our brains, we have neural pathways, okay? And the neural pathways we have run on, we'll say, programs. I'm just trying to put it real simply the way I understand it. And when you run it, go into a family dynamic that was healthy or unhealthy, all of a sudden, you go back into that, let's call it a channel, like a channel on TV. And all of a sudden, from where you were, where you lived you have switched channels and your neural pathways are running old programs. Are you with me? You get it? Okay. So there's going to be high and low moments. That's to be expected. How do you stay on top of not being triggered, triggered by old programs? This is what I'm doing. This is what the Lord has taught me. You take what you receive as information, not judgment. Did you get me? information, not judgment. That is a mindset reset. How do you know if it's judgment? This is judgment either you put out or you think they're judging you and you're taking it in. How do you work with that? How do you recalibrate your thinking? Recalibrate your thinking to have a mindset reset. You know it's judgment because it has an emotional weight to it, a real weight. Like you can feel its heaviness. And if you entertain that thought too long, that conversation too long, the memory too long, you'll feel it weigh you down more and more and more and more and more. And all of a sudden you find yourself like weary, wanting to like step out of the room, wanting to take a break, wanting to take a nap, wanting to just do something other than be with the people you know you love, but right now you're having a hard time dealing with it. Okay not necessarily going on with me mind you i just this is just something that has been going on in my in my brain because i've been working with family dynamics and people in family uh, situations uh, where they go back to a situation where with the family they love but all of a sudden they find that they're getting triggered really quickly what happened their adult self just walked into the old channel their adult self walked into the old channel the neural pathway is running from an old program of how the relationship used to be, not how it necessarily is now. Not that everybody has not done their own work and gotten into healing and healthy conversations, doing a little bit better at uh, living life well, doing what love requires. But there are some that, you know, they have not done their own work. They're still running on the old channels, the old dial, the 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and into the 2000s uh, from old conversations. This is a conversation I'll have at another time on breaking soul ties when I do a Queen of Peace Media um, healing hour, breaking soul ties. And uh, it's a very valuable uh, lesson. It is a very valuable way of life to understand how that works uh, because that involves all kinds of things such as unforgiveness, etc. That's not why this talk is here. This talk is here to di differentiate between judgment and information. If I'm talking about information, let's say I'm talking about this flower behind me. This lovely, I misnamed the flower last time, so I'm worried about misnamed this next flower. We'll just call it a hibiscus. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. It's back there. It's red. But here's the thing. A flower is red. That's information. I have no emotional weight to it. None whatsoever. But when you go into dynamics in relationships, whether they're family or anybody else, you have that emotional weight to some of the conversations you have because you're running on old channels with a new situation. 
old channels with a new situation. So how do you recalibrate, have a mindset reset? You decide, you override your intellect, move into wisdom and he who is wisdom who is with you and see what he has to say. You take it as information, make sure there's no weight to it because that means that there's actually judgment attached. Take it as information, realize in the past, I might have been triggered, but now I'm responding, not reacting to the relationship I'm having this conversation with. Okay. This is, I'm talking about a power move right here. When you recalibrate the way you think, have that mindset reset to do what love requires in that conversation, everything changes. You don't run off the old program. You're not reacting. You're not judging. Instead, you're taking the information, having it come into agreement with he who is wisdom. See what he says to do in terms of what love requires in that moment. And responding. Whoa. I just got that. Did you? Did you? This is what I've been working with for years at this point and help others work with for years. I know it can be beneficial for you because it's been that beneficial for others as well. So what a lovely way to enjoy your summer when you have relationship plans with family, with friends, and you come renewed, restored, refreshed. Amen. So recalibrate. Have a mindset reset. This is information, not judgment. How do you know it's information? How do you know it's judgment? Judgment has weight to it. Information just doesn't. There may be an opinion, but it doesn't have the emotional weight to it. Understand? One time the Lord told me this. This is the maxim I'll leave you with. When you fear the judgment of another, you too have judged them. And remember this one, an oldie but goodie maxim that the Lord gave me. Do not concern yourself with being right. Do not concern yourself with being wrong. Concern yourself with being loving. Amen. Please move at the pace of peace. I'll be traveling back home tomorrow. I've missed you a bunch. Thank you for missing me. It's almost like I hear hearts calling out to me saying, Vicki, where are you? Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm taking each and every one of you into my rosaries that I pray multiple times a day. My divine mercy are the beautiful memorari and many other prayers. Do what love requires in every moment of every hour of every day. God bless you.